Yesterday, I was involved in a high-speed crash. And unfortunately, my trusty vans literally ripped at the seams. So today, I'm in the market for some new riding shoes. These are my Freerider Pros, 510's highest end freeride shoe. The 510's bear resemblance to my vans, but they are beefed up in a few areas. The first of these is the 510's robust stitching. The next is in the toes. The toes are much stiffer in the 510's, which will offer much more protection in a crash. When compared to vans, 510's are visibly stiffer, which is good because it gives you more power when riding. Let's talk about soles. 510 and Vans both have a very similar design for their sole. Both shoes grip the pedal very well, but the 510s stick to the pedal incredibly. My 510s also came with these neon green laces, which I took the time to put in my shoes. While I'm lacing these up, let's take a break from shoes for a second. Now, I understand mountain biking pretty well, but when it comes to making videos, I'm clueless. I'm constantly experimenting with different video ideas, but if any of you have ideas that you would like me to do, please leave them in the comments below. For example, someone on Instagram DM'd me that they would like to see a jump build. So, now for next week's video, we're going to be building a kicker ramp. I've also heard that y'all want longer videos, and I'm working on that. But for now, it looks like I'm almost unlacing, so let's get back to the shoes. Personally, I like the green laces better. What do y'all think? So now, it's time for the final verdict. Which ones are better for mountain biking, Vans or 510s? Now, just a disclaimer. I've mountain biked with both of these shoes extensively, and I've enjoyed both of them thoroughly. However, I do think the 510s are a clear winner. They look much nicer and are much more well known for mountain biking, as well as sticking to the pedals much better and are way more robust. That being said, Vans aren't a bad choice at all, especially when we consider prices. A good pair of Vans can be had for around $40 to $60, and they come in many more colors and size options. Now, it really just comes down to how much money you want to spend. Because 510s, while they are better, they cost $150. So, at the end of the day, it's your decision. As always, thanks for riding with me today, and I'll catch you next week.